In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a custom header graphic for your website. This is the header graphic area right here, and as you can see, it's actually an image that I've uploaded to my site. You can use this technique to generate a header of any kind. Uh, maybe you'd want to create something with your photo up there, uh, kind of like in place of uh, this gal here. Uh, but this is where I'm going to take you to in this tutorial. So in order to create a custom image header, what you're going to need is a graphics editor program. Now if you don't already have a graphics editing program, uh, good news, you're about to get one for free. Now normally those graphics editing programs can cost anywhere from uh, $100 to $500 on up for Photoshop and some of the more uh, advanced uh, software programs. But I'm going to show you a great product called Avari.com that is a free image editor. Um, and that's what we're going to build this image header in. So when you go to Avari.com, you're going to want to click on their image editor product right here. And then you're going to want to click this button that says Launch Phoenix. Once you want Launch Phoenix, you're going to see this splash screen. Uh, now remember, Phoenix Image Editor is a web-based program and doesn't install you, require you to install any software on your actual computer. Now we're going to create this image from scratch, so I'm going to click on the Start from Scratch uh, option right here. You can also load an existing file. And now here's something that you want to keep in mind while designing your website is the total width of your header image and the total height. The one that I showed you at the beginning of this video was 780 pixels by 200 pixels, which I feel like is a nice height that fits well on most uh, pages. So I'm just going to go ahead and type 780 pixels by 200 pixels and then I'm going to click on the Create button. And what that's going to do is it's going to give me a canvas that is the size of my header image or graphic. Okay, so the first thing that I want to do is I'm actually going to bring a little bit of attention to this layers uh, area in the image editor. Uh, but currently it happens to be in my way, so I'm just going to click on this arrow to minimize it. I can click on that arrow again later if I want to see, um, you know, my layers. So and now I'm going to go over here to the shape tool and I'm going to click on that and I can add any shape I want to this header image but I'm going to start with a rectangle since that's the shape that I used uh, to create this header image and then I'm going to click on this transform tool in order to fill out all the space on my canvas uh, with this image and I'll show you what I'm going to do with that in just a second so all right, now the next thing is I want to create that kind of slight gradient that I have in the background. And the way I do that is I click on this Paint Bucket tool. Now this will let you uh, fill uh, this box that we just put or this, this rectangle that we just put on our canvas. It'll let you change the color of that to whatever you want. It'll let you do a gradient, so on and so forth. Um, it's asking me to apply the, the resize changes that I just did, so I'd go ahead and do that. Now I'm going to go ahead and click on the gradient tool. Now the gradient tool is uh, allows you to go from one color to another color through a smooth transition just like you see here. Um, and I'm just going to use the default colors but you can double click on either side of this and actually change your gradient colors uh, to whatever you want so that they'll go from one color uh, to the next. So now I'm going to actually take my my uh, gradient tool and I'm going to just drag across here and you can drag it back whatever way you want until you find something you're you're happy with you get the general and now I'm going to upload my image so I click on file and then import image and then I browse and locate my image on my computer and click OK. I'm going to choose this option to resize my image so it fits nicely on my canvas. Then I'm going to move my image over to the right side of my header. And click on my hand tool and apply my changes. So now I've got my my header partly done 
And now I'm going to add a little text to my header. So I'm just going to type right up here. And then I'm going to actually cha change my, the size of the font that I want. And then I'm going to change my font style. And you can see there's tons of font styles to choose from. So there's just a ton of these fonts that you can choose from. This is a great way to solve the problem of not having web compatible fonts. You could just add them to images. So I'm just going to choose one, even though it's different than the one I showed you earlier. Now if you wanted to add more text, you can just add another text box on top of this, drag and drop it where you want, uh, whatever. Whenever you're ready to export this image, just go ahead and click on File, and then Export Image, and then choose it as a JPEG, that's really what I recommend, and then click Generate Image, and then as soon as this download button turns green, you can download your image to your computer. And now you want to navigate back to your Web Starts page editor, So I'm back to my Web Starts page editor, and uh, now what I can do is just upload that image that I just made and download it to my computer. So I'm going to go ahead and find that. See if I can find that on my computer. There it is. Okay, so now I'm just going to go ahead and add that to my website. So don't forget to visit webstarts.com to see more video tutorials like this and to build your very own website.